Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Flagstaff, Arizona. What am I doing here? Camping with my friends. Aja from Pandemonium. Scott and Terry from Destination Open Road. Bunch of other friends that we've camped with before. Got one of one of my most favorite camping groups I've had in quite a while. All good people. Get along great with everybody. Like everybody. I think everybody likes me too. So, good place to be. So what are we doing today? Well, I don't know about you, but me... I'm going to be eating a little crow. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, I had a company. How can I say this? I needed a ladder. And I uh, woke up one morning. It's going to head to the Home Depot or Lowe's and get me. Do you remember the expanding ladder that I had uh, on the BT Cruiser? Stored it right beside the refrigerator. Well, I was going to go buy another one. And lo and behold, I got an email from this company that said, we want you to try our ladder on your channel. I said, great. <laughs> Send it. And they did. So, uh, turns out that I need it. And uh, hadn't opened it. Hadn't taken it out of the box yet. They wanted me to do a review. So, if it's a good ladder, I'll say, it's a good ladder. If it's a bad ladder, I'll say, I didn't like the ladder. But... Uh, for 30 years as a contractor, I spent a lot of time on ladders. And I know a good ladder from a bad ladder. So, let's get to the me eating crow part. You know, in my video, I was talking about uh, practicing backing up. <laughs> my mom and daddy's house built a long paved driveway. I'd back down all the time. Good at backing. I think I'll just, I'm, I'm just going to show you what I did. Here's our campsite. I parked right next to uh, Dana and Steve and their kids of a full tiny house. I was just right around the corner. Uh, Scott and Terry are on the other side of, uh, there they are. They're sitting through there with their truck camper. So let me tell you what I did. First off, here's the ladder that they sent me. And if it's any count, down in the description below, I'll tell you where to get it from and how much it cost. And I've also got a discount code that uh, they gave me. Um, anybody that wants one, they can get a discount on it. So I'll open it up for you. But uh, it's an Ama. It'll be an Amazon link. So uh, let me tell you what I've done. You know, here I was uh, bragging about backing up and being able to handle this Class A. Well, I goofed. Um, uh, several weeks ago, people keep asking me, "You want to show the back of your RV? You know, you need instead of the van driving over the camera, you need to show your Class A driving over the camera." Well. Now I'm going to tell you why I hadn't done it. <laughs> I had my reasons. Um, let me draw what happened. So I pulled into a horseshoe campsite. Like so. This isn't writing too good. Okay. So I pulled into this horseshoe campsite. And all the limbs were trimmed up good. But I got to right here and there wasn't enough clearance none of the limbs had been trimmed here for me to get out so i was going to stay there but then i got to thinking you know you always leave yourself a way to escape easily and me back in this class a like that wasn't uh necessarily a quick way out it was starting to get kind of late and west was directly behind me 
Um, so I said, no problem. I got my mirrors. I got my review camera. I'll just take my time and I'll work myself out of this horseshoe. Now, I hadn't had this camper for very long at all. I've had over a dozen RVs, but I've never had an accident like this before. So I had the sun in my camera, sun in my mirrors, didn't have anybody helping me, thought I could get out. I backed into a big old pine limb. I, hadn't, I wasn't the first person to do it. And some of the limbs were actually broken where they hit other campers. So I put a hole in the back of my RV. So here we go. I put in two holes right here in this fiberglass. Now I already had a crack under that lens, so I can fix that and that'll go away. But uh, I guess the best way to describe the size, um, about the size of two chicken nuggets. <laughs> and uh, I had white um, 3M tape with me and I put it over there to keep the, the water and the moisture out. Now I've got some uh, Eternabond tape that I'm going to cover these with and uh, that this will go away and when I repaint my stripe here I paint it and you'll never you'll never know but this is a much more severe problem and that's where this new ladder is going to come in handy yet turns out looking at the email the lady sent me this is called a got a 12 and a half footer, a 10 and a half footer. I got the Amazon links and I got a 10% off code. All that will be down in the bottom. But uh, yeah, that'd make up my bed. Yeah, um, I backed right into that limb. I didn't see it. Somehow or another making that curve, sun in the mirrors. I don't know where it came from. I know where it went though. It went into my RV. It even came through my back wall of my cabinet to the right of my bed. I'm disappointed. I got out. I'm going to be honest with you. I was mad. Angry. For about a minute. Then I just started laughing. I mean, I'm the guy. I used to do paint and body work. I hate a scratch or a ding on a vehicle. Ooh. I love keeping things just perfect. I'll tell you what, I love a nice clean car, clean tires, clean wheels, perfect paint. I'm the guy that parked out at the end of the parking lot and walked half a mile to the store. That was me. But I looked at the holes in the back of the RV. And I said, you know what, it's, it's going to be okay. It's all right. I got a great deal on this RV. I'm not going to abuse it. I'm not. I'm going to take care of it. But I got such a great deal, I'm going to use it. And I think about all the RVs I've had, all the campsites I've been in, all the rough places. Gosh, I put that BT Cruiser in some horrible places. Got out with barely a scratch. Well, I finally got some damage. Finally had an accident and did some damage on my RV. But that's just going to happen. That's what I told myself. I didn't always have such good control of my temper. But it already happened. I just laughed and said, well, I'll fix it. Because <laughs> I want this out. I, I'm really proud of my RV. I want it to look nice. You know, just because I got a great deal on it don't mean it don't have value. It has a lot of value to me. So I got a, I schemed me up a plan to fix it. I hope y'all like it. Come in packaged. It, when I got it, it was very good. It was wrapped very good. It was a box inside of a box. <laughs> Don't cut your finger off, Kevin. I think what I'll do, I'll just turn this box upside down and let it slide out. Wrapped, wrapped up nice. 
and I want to apologize to Miss this ladder uh, I was supposed to do a review on this sooner but when I twisted my ankle hurt my leg I just didn't feel like I needed to be climbing anything look here at my neighbor big old pretty Prevo set it on back there man look at the solar rack he had custom made for that Woo. he's bringing it back here in the boonies that's an airbrushed custom paint job at the factory he's watching his mirrors he ain't watching us Woo. that's how you do it but yeah, I've got a back, I got a ladder on the back of my RV. But sometimes, panning slowly, panning slowly. Really want to apologize for the last video. I was really moving too fast. There's times you need to get up on the side of your RV. And that ladder there is just not going to do any good. But these don't take up a lot of room. You get the strap off of it and we'll set it up. So. So this ladder is rated for 250 pounds, and uh, I've been I've been uh, eating pretty good lately, and I'm I'm above that uh, just just a little bit. Uh, but even so, it still feels very sturdy for me. Uh, so it's easy to, to let out. But one thing that's different on this one is I used to have to let down every each level on the ladder on my last one. But watch this. I can hit these two buttons and all of these will come down without having to do each single one. Now that's a neat design. Man, you're not kidding. <laughs> I made my cameraman laugh. <laughs> so, and then here on the on the bottom one here, I've got to turn around. We'll do it like this. It's the only one that's different. So it's lightweight. It's stronger than the one I had. So if you need a ladder, check out my description below and see if this will work for you. And the great part about having a ladder like this is how easy it is to store. So I kind of got an idea of where I'm going to put it. Now I came back inside. I've had the hardest time making this video between the wind and the rain. So I'm going to let the rain pass. But this is where I'm going to keep it at. I'll, uh, I'll bungee it to the wall. It'll be out of the way. It'll be there if I need it. There may be room for me to store it underneath, but uh, <clears throat> if I put it underneath, I'll always have to dig it out. If I have it right here, I'll just have one bungee cord to get it out. Because I got a feeling I'll be using it a lot. I got to fix this hole in the back, and I still got to work on these stripes. I tried to think, you know, to fix these holes, I would have to do a fiberglass repair. Uh, sand it, paint it, color match it. It's not going to be easy. But then I kind of had a, <laughs> I think I had a good idea. I was like, well, you know what? I've got solar lights all the way around my RV and I like having them. I'm, en I'm enjoying them. They come in real handy when you're camping out in the middle of nowhere, all the extra light. Plus it's a good scare light. They're motion activated. But even though the holes are not that big, both of them together is bigger than the solar lights I'm used to having. So I looked online and uh, I actually found these at Walmart. So my plan, <laughs> just a quick fix, I'm going to cover my hole with the solar light. But uh, listen, it's going to be our little secret. I don't want you to tell anybody. It's just, just me and you are going to know, okay? So these are the solar lights 
that uh, I've been using. You can get these for like, I don't know, eight or nine dollars for a pair at Family Dollar, the dollar store. And these are much bigger and a lot more lights on it. The only problem that I can foresee is that it's got an on off switch in the back. And if I mount it permanent or with tape on the back here, let's say I want to uh, drive at night, someone pulls up behind me, they're gonna get bright lighted. So I do have a little bit of a problem there. Okay, I'm gonna get up here and pull off this duct tape and clean this area here. Now this tape, now this tape is the same tape they use to put uh, stick body molding on cars. I did paint and body work, use this all the time. So this is the top of a good bead. Water have a very difficult time getting in behind here. Okay, with, uh, with the help of my buddy Steve, he helped, helped me level it up and eyeball it and get it nice and square. And as far as I'm concerned, I think it looks pretty good. Now the 3M tape underneath it ought to make it watertight. I'm gonna go back and I've just got places for two screws at the top. I'm gonna put those screws in and uh, the next time I have my clear Lexel adhesive caulk out, I'm gonna put caulk around the outside edges of it. But as far as I'm concerned, Fix is fixed. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank for sending me the telescoping ladder. Seemed like pretty good quality quality to me. Um, and you know what? Accidents are just going to happen. It took me a long time to do something like that, but it came along after all. So you got to have good insurance, and you got to have a good attitude. But uh, got mine fixed pretty easy. All right, well, this is as good a place as any. I'm going to end this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.